There was a time when old Porsche 911s were forgotten and unappreciated. A time when the peculiarities of the early cars were seen as negatives. Today, however, is a very different time where rare classic Porsches are worth fortunes. They're highly coveted and collected by those in the know and cars such as the Porsche 911 ST, which saw just 24 examples made, are a fabled Fabergé egg of the car world. Only an expert will see this beautiful car behind me to be a replica of that mythical 911 ST. And while this car's value may not be quite into the millions, it is nonetheless a prized showpiece of the highest order. And so, to experience what this Porsche Classic is really like, why not join me, Roger Bailey, on a day of old school discovery. And discovery starts with simply looking all over this gulf blue interpretation of Ferry Porsche's vision of the perfect sports car. Its owner is my friend Ralph, and he chose to create his own vision of perfection instead of taking the conventional and possibly cheaper option for Porsche ownership by buying a new one. And so, why did he do this? Well, the answer starts with ancestry. Not Ralph's ancestry, but the car's ancestry. See, Ferry Porsche's father, Ferdinand, was already making early sports cars when son Ferry dreamt up his own idea of how a sports car should be. And he did so with his father's gifted engineers available to hand. Engineers that included Hans Mesger and Ferdinand Peach, two talented engine makers, both of whom went on to even greater things. The early 911s received not only accolades from sports car enthusiasts from around the world, they soon caught the eyes of race drivers who could see potential in the project. Porsche race cars soon appeared and with the Porsche's inherent lightweight, accurate handling and unique rear engine traction, racing successes started chalking up. Those early Porsches were not just quick but they were also reliable. However, to stay on top, continuous development was essential and it was this process of ongoing improvement that led to the wide-wheeled and wide-wheel arched 911 ST of the 1970s. The ST was a highly successful race car which brought plaudits for Porsche and as a reward for the drivers, Ferry Porsche provided each of them with their own personal dream drive a road-going version of the supremest of all Porsche sports cars of the day and 23 road-going 911 STs were built for them, followed by one more for good measure. Fast forward to today, people can be seen obsessing over Porsche 911s, old and new, with some of the limited run production cars being prized as rare gems. This car we have today is a close recreation of those 24 early 911 STs. It began life as a 1986 3.2 Carrera. It had much of its bodywork including the bonnet, front and rear sections and wings removed and replaced with older style versions. The interior changed out for period fixtures and fittings and a 1970s dash instruments, bits and pieces and a period correct steering wheel finish off the 1970s recreation. I'm selling the details of what's been a deep dive conversion fairly short here and so I put a detail of all of the job in the description below this video. However, we all want to know how this beauty drives and how it makes the driver feel, yes? Right, well, so press the throttle down about a quarter way. The floor hinging clutch goes in, twist the nicely machined key to hear that flat six fire up. Push hard to engage first gear. Ease up that foot pedal and cautiously move off. And the very first impression is, well, it's heavy. That's the steering, the gear shift, the clutch pedal, all requiring an unaccustomed amount of strength to operate. 
Also uncustomary is just how deliciously close to the tarmac you're sitting and how small it is inside this cabin. You take in the rare sense of old car and elicit sensory pleasure from the direct connection between the throttle and the engine which provides snaps of instantaneous revs. So it's time to stop being careful and it's time to strong arm that gear lever through the ratios and build up the speed to find that the initial heaviness of the steering vanishes and the helm becomes a light tactile delight. There's no power assistance here. Road textures are transmitted directly into your hands and the nose dots this way and that from the merest of wheel inputs in a way no modern Porsche could come close to. Lean on those front tyres hard into a corner to pile on the grip, add a bit more speed and the rewards keep coming. This car turns out to be nimble and easy and is a sheer delight to pilot along a decent bit of road. Held by only having to propel no more than 1300 kilograms, a 3.2 litre air cooled flat 6 propels our diminutive coupe down the road with verve, accompanied by fearsome brakes and a feeling of security from the grip provided by those big tyres. It should be noted of course that modern safety aids and driver conveniences are largely absent as is modern soundproofing. And our 911 does of course demand a degree of respect with that engine being slung right back behind the rear axle but make no mistake this is a sharp capable driver's car. Capable it seems in the same way those original wide-bodied 911 ST Le Mans and Sebring 24-hour class winners must have been some 50 years ago. And while our car may not be going racing anytime soon, its sorted out chassis setup makes it a rewarding and attention grabbing track day tool. One tough enough to withstand a day circuit action and then it can be driven quietly and gently home rather than needing to be trailered away. So to those who still ask why would you want an old Porsche 911 and not a warranty secured brand new one with all those modern conveniences such as power steering, light controls and Apple CarPlay. Well whether it's this delicate styling, the raw sounds, the diminutive sized coupe body or old school driving experience there is something truly captivating about an old Porsche. In recent years prices have skyrocketed with demand outstripping supply and should it be a new car that a buyer wants we find that the unusual times we are living in you will have to wait a year perhaps two or even more to get a new 911 and while keeping old cars ticking like a Swiss watch has its inevitable costs Classic Porsche owners are today realising they can feel confident in the knowledge that their investment is likely to remain a sound one. And yet more important still is the knowledge that in a bespokely created Porsche like this 911 ST you will find yourself immersed in more character and more joy than one might have ever imagined. Values of Porsche 911s will always fluctuate over time, yet the appeal and depth of understanding for the earliest cars isn't something that looks likely to change. The driving purity, the engineering uniqueness and the sheer curb appeal means they will always attract the attention of not only Porsche fans old and new, but also surely anyone having a mere passing interest in cars. And what better way is there to showcase the world of classic Porsches than this ingenious recreation of one of the rarest ever Porsche 911 model variants, the fabled Porsche 911 ST. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to click the like button as in doing so it will tell YouTube to recommend it to more people and comments are always welcomed. I read every single one and I'll reply to most. And if you haven't already, please think about subscribing. And if you hit this little notification bell, you'll know when I've uploaded the next video.